Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. Oops. This is going to be a general reading, Twin Flames, for the 8-8 portal that was just activated. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. My name is Anya, welcome. Um, you can relate to either side or neither side. Remember to take what, take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? All right, let's see. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got for my flame pair? That's too many. Just one spirit. Thank you. All right. We got the Golden Mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. Ooh, ouch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, goodness. I saw the Grim Reaper and passion and girl talk there. Let's see. What do we got for the other side? That's pretty strong energy right there. have twin flames, yin yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Okay, so maybe one of them are narcissists. We'll see. Okay, this is a twin flame relationship. So, let's find out what's going on in this situation. Absorbed narcissist. Yin yang. Zen. So one somebody's happy here and the other one is is uh, love bombing. So it happens sometimes. It happens. Okay, we got conflict and defeat. Conflict and defeat. So this person's been defeated because of their narcissistic ways. But the other side might not be doing much better, so let's see. Let's see. We got emotional withdrawal. Yeah. You two are not speaking. You two are not speaking. But you are twin flames. This is somebody who mirrors your energy in every way, shape, and form. From childhood uh, childhood uh, traumas, etc. So, whoever this person is that you're dealing with feels defeated because they kind of went over the top here. And this person withdrew because, because of the over-the-top behavior. Okay. You are twin flames, but somebody went a little too far. Let's see. Attraction. Yeah. You need to love yourself here. Whoever this is, it's safe for you to love. Okay. This is Spirit's way of nudging you guys to say, hey, you know what? Whatever this issue was, you guys have got everything you need, all the tools that you need to set the stage for whatever you want in the future from this relationship. Somebody's gone a little overboard, yes. And the other person withdrew because of it. Now, it's not a chaser situation, runner-chaser situation, or that would probably have popped up. It might be, though. Maybe this person is over, overly uh, 
I'm just feeling like there's somebody just went over the top here uh, as far as um, as far as uh, affection that kind of thing and uh, this person instead of falling into it retreated from it okay because I'm a self-absorbed behavior okay Past, present, and future energies of each side. Oh, there's strength here. Might be dealing with Leo. Six of Pentacles. Oh, Jesus. Let's see. This person was certainly conflicted about this other person. You were strong and being fair. Self, seven of wands, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, resting, conflict, and a new beginning. Or careless thought. Could be either way. But what I'm feeling here is that, yeah, this person came in like they were some kind of savior. Okay. And probably during this is Leo's Leo uh eight eight gate. So this probably happened in the last couple weeks. This person came in and tried to act like a hero, basically, by helping someone equal out their life. Okay. However, they were on the defensive against this nurturing, loving, kind energy. And it left them defeated. Um, not the Three of Swords, but the Four of Swords, which is like after the initial hurt. And it left them with conflict. And they started again. Okay. So there was a brand new start here. In the past with this person after much internal turmoil let's see what the other side is saying that person has withdrawn we got a queen of wands here this is somebody who isn't withdrawn that that not not naturally withdrawn this is somebody who is a uh, kind of out there takes things, takes life by the, by the boo-boo and takes off with it. So, I do feel like this is a feminine energy. Two of Pentacles, this Queen of Wands may have been juggling too many things in the past. And there was an ending. Okay. All right. So, whatever this person was juggling with this person, because this person seems very fickle, okay? If they're self-absorbed and can't see past their nose, they may have taken a brand new start away from this other person. And this person has become emotionally withdrawn because. But Spirit is here to tell this person that it is safe for them to love, okay? It's safe. You just have to maybe... You have to move on from the past, okay? And this is all past energy. This is something where somebody who was a go-getter, somebody who, you know, I feel like this is an older energy than this one. And they decided to stop juggling because they ended it. The world card is something coming full circle. They just, they couldn't deal with this nonsense uh, that's going on on the other side, which, you know, any older energy, which is how I kind of feel that it's, uh, yeah, I understand. I get it. Okay, there's three people here. And then they press the ultimate divine feminine. So on this side, there may be a pregnancy 
and it has to do with with another person because there's three people here and it has to do with king of cups and home okay this person is taking a new start probably at the advice of friends or family and they have encountered an empress and the king of cups here is the eternal love in a household marriage and the other side we got a victory we got an aries hmm we got a queen of pentacles and we got judgment okay so this person is being quite logical in the situation they're taking the lead in their own life and getting their own victories where their comfort and stability is concerned. And they have taken that judgment upon themselves. Okay? Whatever, whichever side you are on this, this person has involved someone else. Possibly someone who's pregnant. Okay? And this, this Empress, King of Cups, is all about the love and home and family and, and making, making things you know, legit. This person over here has decided to take control of their own life and their own finances and their own stuff. <clears throat> because this is this is Aries. This is the one, the and this is a go getter. So this person has decided to. And like I said, I I feel like this is an older energy than this one. This one may have had a, a different lover in the past and uh, because we got the queen and king of cups there cancer Pisces Scorpio let's see future energies for this side is these pentacles okay they're getting they're getting what they desire whoever this person is if it's you um, you're going to come into uh, some money here in the future. You may have to fight about it. You may have, may have to fight over money. Ah, okay. So this is making more and more sense. All right. So how I'm feeling this now is these two... We're a couple. And there may have been a, a, a home involved. And this person cheated or went with someone else. If they broke up, this person went with someone else. Okay? And the someone else... They wanted to share all the things that they had with this person. Okay. But this person wanted their stuff back. Okay. So, at the end of the day, somebody's going to have to fight over it. Okay. There's going to be a fight over money here. And, and this person may end up by themselves. Because... There, it feels like some they're offering things to some to this empress to someone else, and it it was joint between these two. Okay, you can't just take somebody else's stuff and offer it to someone else, not without legal counsel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see what the future energies for this person is because this person they ain't having it. They ain't having it at all. Because there, there's somebody that they're trying to rebuild with over here out of, a, out of an old energy that was already there. And that's not good. That's never good. Okay, let's see what the future energies on the other side are. And that'll be the lead. I'll pull you a... Um, Resolve. Page of Cups. Four of Cups. 
Knight of Swords. King of Swords. Nine of Wands. Damn. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're not aware, this other person may come back around. Okay? And if they do, they're going to make a small offer. Okay? This person doesn't want that small offer. They're taking off. They're doing their thing. They're, they're charging in without even thinking. They just, they, that offer is just too small. And the King of Swords may manipulate the situation to make it their own and leave them in a, a Nine of Wands energy, which is standing your ground, you know. This person is going to stand their ground. They don't want any nonsense. They don't want any of this crazy uh, fly-by-night energy in their life. They're ready to stand up for what they truly believe in. Okay? And we got the three of wands on the bottom. So, somebody's going to be waiting. But, this is pretty cut and dry. I mean... It almost feels like this person offered something to someone else that belonged to this person or that belonged to them jointly. And they're love bombing somebody else <laughs> with this person's uh, stuff materially. So, no, oh, we got the Metal King and the River Queen. Low letting go, natural movement, discipline, armor, and boundaries. So, let me read those to you real quick. Because it, it makes sense. The boundaries that have to be in place in this situation because it, it, it's, it's kind of toxic. You guys got to figure out how to work this out without killing each other. This guy, girl, whoever it is, is going to end up single because they're going to fight over common property. And that's just how I'm feeling that. The Metal King is strong and arrives to lend you his impenetrable shield of protection. No matter who sends you criticism or jealousy, you will not be hurt. This ally prompts you to think about setting healthy boundaries. When you do, no matter how uncomfortable the task may be, everyone will benefit. He asked you to make sure you know where you end and another begins. Others' emotions are not yours, no matter how empathetic you may be. Another of the Metal King's messages is to remind you of how important it is to have a healthy sense of self-esteem. It's a good time to shine and be proud of what you have accomplished. Yes, love it. The River Queen. This is going with the flow. So, where is it? There it is. One, zero, zero. Okay. This one says, The river queen flows into your life as an ally to remind you about the concept of allowing and the law of non-attachment. Remember that all rivers come from the mountains and run into the sea to be absorbed by a larger body of water. There, the liquid evaporates into clouds and the rain in the mountains to continue the endless cycle of fluidity. The River Queen requires you to be fluid and let go of rigidity and perfectionism. You will travel far as long as you let go and let flow, even maneuvering around the greatest blockages like water streams around a big boulder. No obstacle can hold you back now if you're willing to surrender to the natural flow of events. Be easy on yourself and others, and watch how smoothly you move forward. You may be, be surprised where the river takes you. Okay? So, like I said, you know, this, this future energy can always be changed because it's free will. But in this particular situation, I do believe that it's not it's not fairly balanced and that this person who's taking their life into their own hands and their own finances into their own hands is definitely doing the right thing okay well that's all i have for you this week gemini um please like subscribe and share if you enjoyed that and i will see you next week
Till then, you guys stay safe, stay well, and take care. Bye for now.